Hey guys, it's Casey again, Small Business Millions, and today I wanted to do the video for you guys that I promised on GoDaddy. Uh, it's how to create photo galleries that are clickable to new pages, and uh, a lot of you had had problems with this, I had problems with this personally, and uh, GoDaddy customer service actually doesn't have an answer for this. They, uh, they told us that it wasn't possible, and uh, nothing I can find on Google or YouTube or anything actually worked and I just played around with it for a while and I was able to make it work so let me show you what I'm talking about uh, this is a typical website builder for GoDaddy and uh, this is your little toolbar that you get over here on the left with all of your I'll move it to the right so you can see but it's your new page your text box image box it's everything that you can click and drop so let's say that you have one page and we're using uh, storybook cakes here uh, crystal crystal Gerstner's uh, website here that I'm she was so nice of her to let us use uh, and so under galleries she has all different um, special events that she separates these uh, these different uh, cakes in so you know wedding birthday anniversary graduation or let's say your photographer same thing your different menus well previously you could have these tabs and they would all go to the same page when you click gallery and you'll see this here in a second you can see they're all on the same page and that's what used to happen when you clicked each one of these tabs well now we're able to separate them and they'll go to a different page now the pictures are not actually up yet they haven't been uploaded but you can see it's gonna go to its individual page no matter which one I click will go to a different page you can see that one's blank that one's got that one this one has the same one but it's a little left anyways these tabs are now separated and let me show you how you'll do that so the first thing you gotta do is create a new page and when you create that new page it's gonna come across here on the top of your navigation and name it gallery or whatever you wanna name it once you have your new page we're gonna create a second new page let's say that this one is gonna be for <coughs> uh, special occasions Let, uh, let's put baby showers that's a good one baby showers so we're gonna do cakes for baby showers we're gonna add that page now if you watch that page goes right there and it kinda doesn't fit it doesn't work the whole thing is kinda just not okay so how do we get this under the gallery so that it doesn't click to the same page as everything else well that's very easy you're gonna come up here to your box and right above the white right where it goes to the four arrows single click bring up your menu and go to edit once you're under edit these ones that are not indented are all your main tabs these are all of your page tabs the ones that are indented are also page tabs so we'll come down here there you can see our new baby shower first thing we need to do is click and drag it underneath the page that you want it to tab to so we'll drop it under gallery and it's gonna fall all the way underneath the the end of the tabs here and once it's under gallery over here to the right press indent and then save now that page is clickable underneath gallery and you can move it if you have pages for cake flavors or about us or contact us or whatever you want to do in that little box single click edit your menu you can move these and I'll show you you first you need to unindent it let's move baby showers under cake flavors and then we'll indent it and save it now it's under there we've moved it and that will go to a page so once you're on that page let's move it let's first go ahead and move it back to where we actually want it to galleries so we unindent it drag it up re-indent it and save it we're back under galleries click on it and then insert photo gallery just like that done now when we go back to our main gallery baby showers there it is main gallery bingo every one of them will go to a different page now all you'll do just like you normally do in GoDaddy under your photo gallery is upload the photos that you want you'll edit and right there add and manage photos just like we did in here and we clicked we single clicked here add manage photos and then you can upload all the photos that you want save them and you're good to go it'll update these photos with your actual photos that's all it takes guys it's real real easy it's simple GoDaddy should have this in a customer service uh, you know question that they can answer or it should be online well it is now guys it's on YouTube so 
Make sure if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything you can't figure out, go ahead and email me, message me, whatever you need to do. Uh, and while you're at it, check this uh, awesome website out. Uh, Crystal let us use. It's storybookcakes1.com. Same name on Instagram, storybookcakes1. Uh, and awesome. Here, I'll show you guys while we're looking. Here's a few examples of some of the, uh, the custom work that is done. Check this out. These are so good. If you can see all these piano, Toy Story bed. These are all hand done. All great work. Any occasion, any time. They're so awesome. So check that out. Storybookcakes1.com And I will let you guys uh, take it from there. If you have any questions, again, everything's down in the, uh, the profile down in the description box. Just ask. We'll take care of it for you. We'll answer any questions. You can email us. I'll put all of our links, all of our social media in there. So if you have anything else you need, please, please, by all means, hit us up. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll talk to you soon.